is a move to Northern Utah in your near future, but you live out of state and you can't get here either due to travel restrictions or your job or you just can't afford it. How do you buy a house from another state? I'm gonna give you five tips today that will help this process be so much easier. I'll see you in a minute. I'm Stacy Christofferson with C4 Real Estate Team in Farmington with Coldwell Banker. If this is your first time to our channel, please click subscribe, ring that notifications bell so you don't miss out on the videos that we're making. We're having a blast making these videos for you so that you know everything there is to know about living in Northern Utah, eating, playing, sleeping, and buying and selling real estate. So I have a ton of military clients. My husband was Air Force for 20 years and um, current, we've been in Utah now for 14 years, but we do still have a huge military presence at Hill Air Force Base. And a lot of these folks live out of state, obviously, they get orders to come to Hill and they just can't get here. They have little kids or the, one of the spouses is TDY, they're doing the single parent thing. Um, so today I'm gonna give you five tips on how to buy a house from another state. It can be done, I've done it with clients and it's turned out great. Step number one is to find a local real estate agent. There's a lot of ways to do this. I'm in a couple different Facebook groups and so you can get a ton of referrals in there. Um, you can always go on Zillow for real estate referrals only. Remember that Zestimates aren't real. Um, but you can go on Yelp, you can go on Google My Business, um, C4 Real Estate Team has a Google My Business page, check us out there, but you can go on Zillow and find an agent. Another way to get a local agent, if you have an agent where you live currently, they can help you vet out a good agent. They can do all the interviewing to see if they're a good fit for you. So again, the first step is to find a local real estate agent. The next step you definitely need to do is talk to a local lender. So if you were to call me, I have a local lender that I would hook you up with. He has a mobile app, I text it to you, you add it to your phone, and you can fill out the application sitting there watching TV in the evening. But a local lender, wherever you're going, is gonna be super important because they know what the market is in the area, they're familiar hopefully with the real estate agent that you've chosen, and they're gonna be your best bet for a smooth and fast transaction. Now, how are you gonna look at houses if you live in another state? Well, step three is to just be open-minded to FaceTime walkthroughs. So I've actually done this. I'll do YouTube video through a house, or I'll just FaceTime my client and they, we can go through it and they ask questions and I can stop and open cabinets and, and kind of basically do a tour as if they were there, but of course they're on the phone. I can smell it for them. I'm a big smeller. <laughs> um, and you know, I can show them around the neighborhood. I typically do a video coming into the neighborhood. I show them the neighbors. So be open-minded to that. The other thing, of course, best case is that you can fly in for a weekend to do some house hunting. The hard part with that right now is the fast market. And you might have tickets booked for a month from now, but in a month, the houses that you're looking for aren't available. So just be open-minded to the video tours. The fourth step to make buying a house from another state easier is to ensure that your agent that you choose uses electronic signatures. So in Utah, we can do everything electronically right up to the closing. And the closing does have to have ink signatures. However, the title company that we work with can mail the documents to you, they can email the documents to you, and you print them out. Um, when you do get those documents at closing, you do need to be in front of a notary. But up until closing, everything can be signed electronically. So don't think that you can't buy a house from another state because you're not there to sign paperwork. Technology is awesome on this part of it. The last thing on buying a house from another state is communication. So you and your agent, make sure you tell them what you're looking for and if you don't like what's coming up, they can change it. It's not hard for us to go in and tweak a search or you know, raise the price, lower the price, different areas, it's super easy. And we wanna make sure that we're not wasting your time and that you know the houses we're showing you are ones that you would actually consider living in. 
So if you're considering moving to Northern Utah and you don't live here yet, and you're a little scared by the process, give us a call, because we're happy to do any and all of these steps and more. We've been doing this a long time and we want to help you guys make this process as smooth and easy as possible. Give us a call, text, or email anytime and be sure to check out this video popping up here on if you're PCSing to Hill, some cities that you can live in around the base. Thanks for watching and have a great day.